Welcome to another study, another case study, another demonstration, another tutorial to help you with our headspace analyzers, folks. This is our FD. 600 das oxygen analyzer and we're going to be testing a bag of potato chips now let's start with one thing that we get calls about and that was what you just saw the display turns off just press the middle button go to menu go to settings click on backlight go down keep bright we'll make it set so that it never goes blank it'll always be on press enter so that's the way to adjust the screen so you don't get that annoyance it's very annoying okay let's proceed forward grab your scepter pop one off and put it on the bag. I like to always put it on the corner here because on the corner is where there is no product and it's just good standard practice to put it on the corners. That's my belief. Now, as we know in <clears throat> headspace analysis, we are doing a gas flush of nitrogen or it could be nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, excuse me, with nitrogen, some ratio. And we wanna make sure the bag has been flushed and there's no pinholes or any leaks coming from the uh, poor packaging, okay folks? And headspace analysis, of course, can confirm that. Grab your needle, grab the needle, comes with, of course, the filter and the tubing. Now, before we start, make sure your unit has been calibrated within the past six to 12 months. Very important, make sure it's reading 20.9. In the air, in the fresh air, in your room, it should be reading 20.9. You can see I don't have anything connected to the top of the barb, and we're just gonna unroll the tubing and we're gonna connect it very nicely, okay folks? Let's do that right now. Just connect it on the top, and you can hear the pump slightly straining because we have put the needle and the needle itself cannot get as much air into the pump as it would like okay folks and you may notice the top pump has turned red it's telling you it's under strain okay so that is reasonable that is normal okay now next procedure we're going to come in on an angle on an angle of incidence and we're gonna make sure, of course, we're not gonna go straight down to poke ourselves. Otherwise, also going straight down, not only is it dangerous where you can poke yourself, but you could go through the package. So you wanna come in on some angle of incidence of about 45 degrees. And you could see that, folks. So I've got the camera right there. So you could go through, it's gonna strain through the rubber and it's gonna open it up again once the needle um, orifice enters the packaging. And we could see the numbers over here, folks. We could see the numbers. Um, going down and it looks like it's a fair flush and the question is how long do we wait for dr. Cos? how long well make sure you have at least 200 mils of volume of your package you could see that the, the the package here is shrinking it's pretty much taken up all the gas and we've confirmed there was a nitrogen flush just under eight percent okay folks and here you could see the numbers have stabilized to 7.85 and it's come out and it should come back to 20.9 that's the way it goes once you're done with your measurement it should take about 60 seconds no more just go ahead, pop the cap on the needle, and if you want, you could take off the tubing, okay, folks? Now, make sure, make sure you have unblocked needles and a good filter, okay, folks, a good filter. I recommend each unit, each setup like this does about 100 tests, okay, folks? But again, make sure. Sometimes, again, it's very dependent on what you're testing. Sometimes there could be some substances that block and have a high probability of blocking the needle and the filter. Um, other, other types, it could be like potato chips, like what we just tested, very clean product, and we could go way beyond 100 tests with just one um, original needle setup like this. Okay, so just pay attention, be, you know, um, exercise some good sense and you should just be fine if you don't have if you have any problems always drop us a line okay till then be well be safe and see you soon